Team of the week number 24 drops on Wednesday and in this video today we're going to take an early look at which players could be featuring in it. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team then check out the link in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now straight up we have a lot of games to talk about today so we're just going to get straight into things so as per usual drop a like rating on the video and be sure to be active in the comments too. Let me know who you think we'll be picking up an inform on Wednesday. Let's go. So let's begin. On Tuesday Manchester City beat Wolves fairly comprehensively for one. We've got two options from this game. Gabriel Jesus who scored twice and also Riyad Mahrez who got on the score sheet. As things stand, I would probably favour Jesus, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Mahrez. Also on Tuesday, Juve... Wait, what? Also on Tuesday, also on Tuesday, uh, Juve beat Spezia 3-0. Um, goals coming from Chiesa, Morata and Ronaldo. Chesney made a few saves and stopped a penalty. Well, he made one save, it was a penalty stop actually. Um, his match rate from Gazetta wasn't good. So um, I'm more inclined to think maybe Chiesa has got the best chance. He got the best match rating from this game. Uh, he got 7 if you're interested. And Chesney got a 6.5. So uh, yeah, it's hard to include any of them to be honest. Despite the good performance from Juventus. On Wednesday now, starting in the Premier League Sheffield and Aston Villa finished in a 1-0 scoreline um, Ramsdale made 4 saves and kept a clean sheet so he's an option but ultimately not a strong one Leicester and Burnley finished in a 1-1 draw Cash for Schmeichel's the standout here 6 saves if he'd have kept a clean sheet I'd have probably thought he'd have a good chance but since he didn't I don't think that one will happen Crystal Palace and Man United 0-0 no inform from that and uh, the same can probably be said for the Sassuolo and Napoli game which ended in a 3-3 scoreline I just don't think think anyone will get selected. Diawa is the star man in Roma's 2-1 win against Fiorentina, got himself a goal and also got a 7 match rating from Gazetta, which potentially could see him get in. Cagliari and Bologna also have some options as well. We've got Kragner who made 5 saves and kept a clean sheet and also Regani who got the only goal in at the game and also claimed a clean sheet which is pretty nice for the centre-back. Genoa and Sampdoria 1-1, no inform from that. But uh, one game which I do fancy to produce a special item is the Atalanta win against Crotone. Now Muriel got a goal and a assist but he was in Team Week 21 therefore I don't think he'll be in the upcoming Team the Week. But luckily Ilicic is a very viable option. A goal and assist and also a 7.5 match rating from Gazetta which is pretty solid especially this week. So I feel like he is uh, one of the leading candidates. And another one of them is uh, Faroni who uh, got himself a goal and a assist and also a 7 from Gazetta in a 3-0 win win for Hellas Verona and then the final Serie A game to speak about from that day is uh, the AC Milan Udinese draw which just won't produce a special item. I think pretty much every single league unside played on Wednesday so uh, let's fire through these quickly. Leon beat Stad Rene 1-0 and the standout in this game was probably Thiago Mendes who got a 7 match rating from the keep. Stad Brest got the better of Dijon and there's a couple of options in this one. You've got Lucas to assist. You've also got the winger uh, Honorat with getting himself a goal and a assist. Ongers won 1-0 against Mets. Nothing will come from that, I don't think. And Nice got the better of Nim. And I believe the best player or player rating from this game was actually Tabida, who also got his 7 match rating from the keep. Uh, Lens beat Saint Etienne 3-2. And um, yeah, it's just one of them games where there isn't one particular standout, so I doubt we'll see anything come from that. PSG 1-0 victory against Bordeaux. Nothing to see here. Lille 2-0 victory against Marseille. Jonathan David 2 goals and an 8 match rating from the keep very good chance of him being included so uh, his one to watch could rise but let's be honest who cares he's got a future stars card which is miles better so uh, i doubt people will be too bothered about this item um stad rem won 2-1 against nante nothing to come from that nothing to see there and nothing to see here either as we move on to Strasbourg's victory against monaco and uh, gilbert this guy got himself a clean sheet a goal this is a right wing back role and also um featured in the Le keep team the week so uh, he certainly is an option too. On Thursday there was even more domestic league action. West Brom at home to Everton didn't go well for them. They lost 1-0 thanks to a goal from Richarlison who uh, won't pick up in inform obviously because of his recent what if item. Um, Tottenham got the victory against Fulham and 
It's one of them games where there really isn't a standout option. Larice did make a clean sheet and made three saves, but I don't think he will get in for that, especially since we've just had a very high rated Tottenham player given a flashback item. Chelsea against Liverpool. I think this game has a chance of producing an inform just because of how big the game is. So um, I would probably favour someone like Mason Mount to uh, get in after he got the only goal in this particular matchup. And then there was also a Syria game um, on this day as well. Inter Milan getting the better of Palmer. 2 1 victory. And and Alexis Sanchez with both goals, so he is the obvious pick. On Friday, Villarreal and Valencia clashed, and uh, Valencia got the victory thanks to goals from Soler and Guedes. Um, ultimately, neither of them standing out massively, but um, certainly players to consider. Schalke and Mainz finished in a 0-0 scoreline, and Schalke have got some pretty high-rated defenders on this site. But ultimately, these match ratings mean absolutely nothing in terms of Bundesliga picks, and we need to wait to see the kicker ratings to see if these two actually have a chance or not. And finally, we arrive on Saturday's matches. So uh, let's talk about the Bundesliga games. Hoffenheim and Wolfsburg, a 2-1 scoreline. Um, Kaderbeck got himself two assists, so I feel like he is the standout from this game, although there are a couple of options. Gladbach and Leverkusen ended in a 1-0 scoreline. Good win for the away side, but uh, I doubt they'll be picking up a special item this week for that game in particular. Frankfurt and Stuttgart 1-1 scoreline. Nothing too much to say there. And uh, Hertha Berlin got the better of Augsburg, which in terms of informs doesn't really matter, but um, with two goals for Hertha Berlin, that means there's a good chance uh, we could see that objective Gwenduzi get its boost at some point in the near future. So that is two of six goals uh, scored, which is obviously quite nice. Um, Freiburg and RB Leipzig finished in a 3-0 scoreline, and once again, Soloff and Nkunku getting themselves a goal and a assist. So uh, could be seeing one of them this week. I was really surprised to see Soloff miss out. Um, last week, um, so yeah, there's that. Also, last week, EA messed up massively. How the hell did Goretzka not get in for free assists? That was insane. Um, but anyway, I think you'll get an inform this week because obviously Lewandowski, although he got a hat trick, can't get in due to his current inform. So uh, I think this week EA will make up for it by putting Goretzka in. But like, it makes zero sense. It made absolutely no sense for them to put Goretzka in last week. Um, for, for them not to put him in, sorry, and to put Luan in instead. But um, whatever, we're going to get it the wrong way around. We got Luan last week and I think we're going to get Goretzka this week. Saturday's games in the Serie A now. Spezia and Benevento 1-1, so let's move on. Udinese 2-0 victory against Sassuolo. Um, Rodri de Paul getting a nice match rating and a assist, so um, maybe he would have a chance in another week. Um, unfortunately, he was in Team of the Week 22, therefore won't be in Team of the Week 24. And then to finish off in this league, Juve got the better of Lazio. 3-1 victory in this game, and uh, there is an obvious standout in the form of Morata with two goals and a assist, even with one of the goals being a penalty. But it's also worth mentioning Chiesa, who got an assist in this game and also got a good match rating in the midweek fixture. So I feel like one of them has a decent chance at making it in. La Liga now, Real Valladolid and Getafe finishing a 2-1 scoreline without a standout. So we move on to Elche's win against Sevilla. Carrillo, goal and a decent match rating, maybe. And then Cadiz got the win over Ibar. And their goalkeeper was the standout, but um, ultimately it's another situation where the goalkeeper's made one save all game and it was a penalty stop. So it uh, be interesting to see what he do about that. Barcelona won against Osasuna, two goals to nil, two assists from Messi, but with him recently having that player of the month card, isn't going to get an inform, I doubt it. So uh, alternative options um, probably are Jordi Alba, who got a goal and a clean sheet. And we will, of course, end this week with the Premier League games. Burnley and Arsenal finished in a 1-1 scoreline. How was that not a penalty? That's all I've got to say. Let's move on. Um, Southampton beat Sheffield United, and in this game, Che Adams scored an absolute banger. Um, so, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. I don't think he'll pick up an inform for it, but, um, yeah, great goal. Really, really was. Um, and Aston Villa and Wolves ended in a 0-0 scoreline, and really unsure how Wolves didn't score in this game, to be honest. Emmy made a couple of saves in this match, but um, Conor Cody definitely should have scored in this game. Just like Pepe should have scored in the Arsenal game. And Arsenal also should have had another penalty. But don't worry, I'm not bitter about it. Anyway, let's move on. To end this week, we have Leicester's win against Brighton. The match has ended. This website just doesn't update um, quick enough. And um, yeah, Amati with a very, very late match winner for Leicester. Will that get him an inform? 
Yeah, maybe, but um, there's already some pretty good, uh, pretty strong, sorry, defensive candidates for this week, so uh, I don't think it's too likely. So, that'll just about do us for the early look at the upcoming team of the week. If you have enjoyed the video or just found it useful in any way possible, please do leave a like or anything on it. In the comments below, let me know who you think will pick up an inform, and don't forget to come back to the channel tomorrow to see my full Team of the Week 24 prediction, which will, of course, feature every single league that is in FIFA. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.